okay um so uh, stepwise regression um stepwise regression of course is, is a kind of selection models on eview where you uh, try to see how to make selection either using the backward or the forward uh, selection criteria um, on eView and so uh, we are just going to see how to use the stepwise uh, method that is the least square in um, selecting uh, relevant or irrelevant um, um, variables now let's let's consider what exactly is um, is okay now why stepwise why do we do uh, stepwise regression now stepwise regression is a method of fitting regression models in which the choice of uh, predictive variables is carried out by an automatic procedure uh, as I explained to you that eViews is just a mathematical expression uh, so it is not based on theory uh, theoretical sense or econo econometrical sense so uh, it's carried out by an automatic procedure in which each step a variable is considered for addition or for subtraction from the set of explanatory variables so there are going to be set of explanatory variables or uh, endogenous variables upon which um, upon a specific uh, pre-specified criteria that is what uh, stepwise is going to act on so and of course we know stepwise could be backward it could be forward elimination and these are what we're going to so let's look at the steps of course after now we're going to go over to eViews and carry out the operation now the first step is that you open your data set um, that is you import through uh, excel format or any other means now you click on quick then go to estimate equation then you go to you go down and select stepwise uh, regression you open it uh, in the dependent uh, dialog box open enter the uh, dependent variable and the constant c we're going to do all this thing practical then you go to the list of uh, regressors and type the data uh, this way of course there's a particular way of typing your data so you don't just type um, anyhow you type just like I'm, I'm working on government expenditure I have three variables um, GDP is my government is uh, GDP is my dependent variable uh, government expenditure is my uh, is my uh, one of my exogenous variable and we also have government expenditure on education that is GED is also one of my uh, variable and so you specify it this way that means I'm starting from lag one you can see GEX brackets minus one telling me it is I'm starting from lag one to lag five I may decide to start in lag two to start in lag three but the minimum is lag three yes I have to consider three lags then I, it has a maximum of 80 depending on when your observation period ends and so I, I make a space and I continue so we're going to do this thing in uh, eViews uh, so let's not waste time I will come back here for interpretation so let's go over to to eViews so we can uh, um, conduct this test now this is eViews now I've extracted my data so these are the list of my data these are my data sets um, I'm looking at GDP these are my variables uh, I have GDP as my dependent variable as I said that uh, stepwise regression has to do with uh, the regressors trying to uh, having a predictor on the dependent variable so we have already selected our dependent variable we know that GDP is our dependent variable but we want to see if government expenditure or government expenditure or government uh, expenditure on education is a good variable for GDP and so we are going to try this so I have GDP I have government expenditure on education and also have government expenditure in its fullness so this is just a sample a sample data set you can try it on your own and I'm looking at a period a quarterly data from 1981 uh, to 2000 uh, is a quarterly data with 80 observations 
Now, uh, the first step is that you go to quick. This is quick. Uh, you go to estimate equation. So I click on estimate equation. At this point, I'll go to method. I'll go to method. So, and I'll locate stepwise. This is stepwise and I'll click on it. Now, because GDP is my dependent variable, yes, a dependent variable followed by the list of included regressors. So GDP, I'll say GDP, GDP, uh, can caps lock it, GDP, I'll say space, then my intercept, which is C. C is my intercept or my constant. Then I'll come to list of searched regressors. Now, I want to see whether I should drop uh, GDP uh, or, sorry, I should drop government expenditure or government expenditure on education. So, what do I do? There is a method. Now, what do I do? I say GEX, which is government expenditure, bracket, minus one, that is lag one. I'll say space, two, space, lag, let's say lag five. We're looking at lag five. I close my brackets. I'll say space again. I'll say government expenditure on education. Open bracket uh, at lag one space two lag five. I, I want to use lag five. I just want to use lag five. And so close my bracket. Now I want to now the next step is to go to option. So this is at in option that is where I'm going to select whether I want to conduct a backward or a forward um, elimination using stepwise uh, regression. Now, so I go to option. Now it says select method. Now it's telling me forward or backward. So let's go with backward. Okay, let's go with forward first of all. So it is in forward default. So I'll come here. I'll maintain my p value. I'm uh, only looking at p-values. I want to use p-value as my criteria to test because um, if my p-value, I want to use 5% level of significance. So I'll come to p-value for forward and I'll change this to um, zero. So let it be 0 0.05. I'm using 5% level of significance. So I will ignore this because I'm not in backward and um, I we now uh, say okay I'll say okay okay so this becomes my result you could see that this is my result and um, you can see the results came in and um, this is the forward result it's telling me that the interpretation for this that at uh, that government expenditure on education at lag one is accepted why is it accepted because the p-value you can see here the p-value is significant very very significant so um government expenditure at lag one is also a good a good uh, uh variable so you can see here it's also significant at 0 0.01 because it is less than 0 0.05 now government expenditure at lag 2 is also significant because um you can see here at 0 0.02 which is also less than 0 0.05 so you can see here that if we are to select variables that simply means we are going to select uh government expenditure on education at lag one government expenditure at lag one and government expenditure on education at lag two you can see that is by using the forward the forward method you can also increase the 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 lag period if i want to increase this lag period i can i can simply um go to estimate i'll say estimate and i'll come here and i'll say uh, let's increase this to 10 and I'll come here increase by 10 and I'll say okay this is okay and you can see my the variables have also increased you can see here that these are the list of variables that are accepted government expenditure at like 10 government